everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Glam Polish's Hollywood Heroines Collection. They did send this to me to swatch and share with you guys. This is releasing November 26th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on the Glam Polish website. And if you decide to pick up the whole collection, you will be able to get 10% off. There's no code needed. And that deal lasts through the first 96 hours after it's released. There will be some Black Friday sales. There's a lot of details, so I'm gonna leave that in the description box down below. Do check it out if you're looking for Black Friday deals. The first one is If We Burn, You Burn With Us, and Glam Polish says that it's a bright red curly with Aurora Shimmer and Ultra Hollow Glitter. The formula is buttery, buttery. I applied two coats and reached full opacity. It does have like a neon hint to it, so it's a little difficult to capture, but I think I did okay. This one does dry a little matte, so you're definitely gonna want top coat if you don't like a matte look. And as for removal, this does have glitter in it, so it'll be a little difficult to remove. The next one is Higher, Further, Faster Baby, which is a red jelly with iridescent flakies, gold flakies, and multi-chrome flakies. The formula is good. I built it up in two coats but I did allow my first coat to dry before I moved on to my second coat because of all of the flakies. If you mess around with them, when they have not dried down, it becomes a mess. So I definitely recommend that you allow each coat to dry before you move on to the next. It does need top coat to smooth out those flakies and to add some shine. And there's just flakies, so it's easy to remove. The next one is Somebody Has to Save Our Skins, and this is a mauve curly with shifting iridescent flakies. This is another one with a good formula. I applied two coats to reach full opacity, and because of all the flakies, I did also let this one dry before I added my second coat. It just avoids a big mess. It is gonna need top coat to add some shine and to smooth out the flakies. And the removal is easy because there's no glitter in this one either. Here we have Books and Cleverness. This is a dark blue jelly with shifting iridescent flakies, gold flakies, and a fuchsia glitter mix. This one is a bit thinner, a little runny, but I was still able to get it opaque in two coats, which I was not expecting. It does need top coat to smooth out the flakies and the glitter, and because of the glitter, this one will be difficult to remove. Here we have I Hate This Prophecy, and this is a black jelly with shifting iridescent flakies and ultra hollow glitter. This is another one with that thin formula, very similar to Books and Cleverness. I was still able to get it opaque in two coats. You are gonna want some top coat to smooth out the flakies and to add some shine. And it does have glitter, so again, this one will be difficult to remove. I was just totally clueless is a bright yellow curly with a black glitter mix. This is a sheer one, but that's to be expected when it comes to yellow. So I did build it up in three coats, and at three coats I felt I got full opacity. It is gonna need top coat to smooth out the glitter and to add some shine, and it will be difficult to remove. The next one is Shut Up Please, I'm Very Busy and Important. This is a gray curly with shifting iridescent flakies, hollow micro glitter, and a neon pink glitter mix. This is another good one. It's a two to three coater, but I stopped at two. It does need top coat to smooth out the glitter and to add some shine. And of course, the glitter makes it difficult to remove. Happy People Don't Just Shoot Their Husbands is a Barbie pink curly with a metallic glitter mix. This is a creamy curly. I got it opaque in two coats. It is gonna need top coat to smooth out the glitter and of course to add some shine and removal will be difficult. She Rescues Him Right Back is a white crelly with neon pink, black, and a metallic purple glitter mix. This is more sheer, so I did apply three coats to reach full opacity. It does need top coat to smooth out all the glitter and to add some shine, and that glitter makes it difficult to remove. And the last one is There's No Place Like Home, which is described as a cornflower blue crelly with shifting iridescent flakies and a white glitter mix. The formula is nice. It's a two to three coater. Depends on how much you load up your brush. I stopped at two. It does need top coat to smooth things out and to add some shine. And the glitter makes it difficult to remove.
My three picks of the collection are If We Burn, You Burn With Us. I just love a good bright red. I don't consider myself to be a red person, but there's something about a red with some neon in it that just really entices me. Next one is She Rescues Him Right Back. It's a Crelly with pink, black, there's purple in there. It just comes together so well. And then my last favorite is actually, I don't know, this might be tied for my number one. This might be tied for my number one favorite. This last one is There's No Place Like Home. I am a sucker for periwinkles and this has gone on for years. I don't know that I will ever get over them. This looks like a snowy kind of polish. When I look at the periwinkle and the white glitters in there, just something about it screams winter to me. So I really enjoyed this one. All right, that is it. Again, I'm going to leave all of the information that you need about this sale and the Black Friday sale sale in the description box down below. There's just a whole lot and I don't want to talk your guys' ears off so I will leave it down there. Be sure to check it out if you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!